Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about seven tricks for maintaining speed when driving. And this is absolutely amazing because they actually work. Literally, these tricks actually work. This is not one of those bogus tips and tricks videos where things don't work. These tricks actually work. Without further ado, let's get right into the seven tricks for maintaining your speed. Trick number one is plant your heel on the floor. If you're trying to maintain your speed, you need to have a consistent amount of force on that gas pedal, okay? And the best way to do that is to plant your heel on the floor. You see, without your heel on the floor, you're going to be going like this with your foot. It's not going to really, with your with your leg and your foot, it's not going to work properly. It's going to be hard to maintain consistent pressure. But when you plant your heel on the floor, you're just pivoting. It helps you be more consistent with the pedal. Therefore, it helps you maintain your speed. Trick number two is pay attention to the light post pace that's right light post pace now this is not an official thing but it's something that i've sort of made up over the years of talking about driving now here's the thing you're going to notice that in most cases the light posts are going to be separated evenly okay and there's gonna there's gonna be a pace as you're driving like you're gonna see light post light post light post light post you want to sort of like develop like a beat in your head light post light post light post light post like that and that is going to maintain at the same consistency they should be spaced evenly apart for the most part so if you're maintaining your speed then those light posts are going to be hitting you at the same time not hitting you i mean hopefully not but they're going to be you're going to be passing each of them at the same time Number three is look at the lane line pace. Now, the same thing goes with the lane lines. There's going to be dotted lane lines, most likely, that's separating uh, you from the lane next to you. Um, now, dotted lanes usually mean that, you know, you can cross over them in most cases. So you're probably going to be driving in the same direction as the person and on the other side of the dotted lane line you want to pay attention to those dots because they're going to have a pace same thing right and you want to pay attention to that pace the faster that you drive the the more incrementally smaller the the the, the increments are going to be uh between the lane lines um so pay attention to the lane line pace okay that's number three trick number four is actually glance at your speedometer every once in a while so many people look at their speedometer once when they're getting up to speed like if they're going on a road they're going to look at their speedometer to see what speed they're driving at but then they won't look at it after that and that's very bad so i would say like every minute or so glance at your speedometer what i tell people to do oftentimes is you know check your left side mirror wait 15 seconds check your rear view mirror wait 15 seconds check your right side mirror wait 15 seconds check your speedometer your gauges wait 15 seconds repeat so this way every minute you're checking each mirror and your gauges with every minute that goes by okay very simple and straight forward trick number five is don't focus on staying or keeping up with other cars other cars are going to be accelerating braking driving at their own speed don't try and keep up with another car don't try and gauge your speed with another car because the speed limit could be 50 that person beside you 50 kilometers an hour that person beside you could be going a buck 60 you don't know that don't try and gauge with another car when you're going with the flow of traffic that's a different story but if you want to maintain speed totally different than just driving with the flow when you're driving with the flow you're going the same speed as everyone else give or take but when you uh when you want to maintain your speed then you definitely don't want to be focusing on other cars worry about yourself trick number six is feel for the acceleration or deceleration so when you accelerate you're gonna like sort of like move back when you decelerate you're gonna move forward right so naturally when you're driving if you're maintaining speed you're probably not gonna move back or forward because you're just maintaining that speed you're not accelerating or braking if you're maintaining speed you should kind of have your body in roughly the same position if you want to test this instead of sitting with your seat completely upright okay move it back significantly so there's nothing like blocking your back basically and then you know whenever you accelerate when you don't want to it's gonna you're gonna like go back whenever you break you're gonna go forward so this will if you can sort of maintain your back position then that will mean that you should be maintaining your speed in theory okay last but not least is trick number seven which is hold the pedal 
in the same spot, okay? So literally, and it also, sorry, stay in the same gear if you're driving a manual car. If you're in the same gear and you're holding the pedal in the same spot, you should be able to maintain speed as long as you're past that acceleration phase. Meaning if I'm in second gear and I'm holding the pedal here, but I just started in second, you know, like I just got into second, I'm probably gonna accelerate. But once I hit a certain point, if I keep the pedal there, I'm gonna maintain speed once it, once it matches up. So even if you're driving an automatic car, you wanna hold the pedal in a consistent spot. And that's it, those are seven tricks for maintaining speed when driving and they actually work when you implement them. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.